Thank you. Uh, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is saying uh, President Putin probably would have backed off from invading Ukraine if President Biden had shipped weapons to Ukraine sooner. Does the president feel he should have acted sooner? <clears throat> Well, first, I mean, just for fact's sake, um, we sent a record amount of security assistance to Ukraine. That's in direct contrast with uh, our predecessor, who withheld hundreds of millions of dollars in military aid from Ukraine, including javelins. It's not true. We're getting right into this fact check, but first, give me 30 seconds for this free coin offer. For years now, people have been setting up a little contest between crypto and gold. Both carry stuff and they travel from A to B, but they do different jobs. Gold's job is to keep the value of your money safe and preserve its value. And since Ukraine and the oil and inflation crisis, it's done a brilliant job compared to stocks and other investments. So if you're worried about what's going on right now and who isn't, just talk to an expert at Noble Gold about precious metals IRAs for your retirement. They'll put you straight on your options and hold your hand through the whole setup process. And this month, for any qualified IRA, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin, completely free as a thank you. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com that's noblegoldinvestments.com you can also check out the link in the description or pinned comment make sure to tell them drone tech sent you Well, first, I mean, just for fact's sake. Except those aren't the facts. And everything that you just said is an alternate reality fan fiction. Just yesterday, I did a video on these professors from MIT and Yale who put out a study saying that conservatives aren't targeted for censorship by big tech. And if there is, well, that's just because conservatives and Republicans are the ones spreading the misinformation. I gave several examples of Democrats believing in straight up lies because the media is lying to push an agenda. Well, here we have yet another vomit inducing example example of the Biden administration pushing disinformation and with zero pushback from the media. So Saki's response here to a question about Biden's failures in the run-up to this war was that it was Biden who armed Ukraine and Trump who refused to give them military aid. Well, first, I mean, just for fact's sake, um, we sent a record amount of security assistance to Ukraine during President Biden's first year in office, more than any other president uh, in history. Um, and we shared a significant amount of intelligence with Ukraine about Russia's intentions and military movements, as you all know, because we've talked about it in here. 3.2 billion total, 2.6 billion since this conflict started. That's in direct contrast with uh, our predecessor, who withheld hundreds of millions of dollars in military aid from Ukraine, including javelins, which Mr. McCarthy, who was critical of us in this moment, defended at the time as, quote, the rightful thing to do, because he claimed people believed there was corruption in the Zelensky administration. So I don't know if that's a question for us as much as a question for him. What has changed in that period of time? You so full of shit. This is just an outright, easily refuted lie. But are there any fact checkers out there? No, just this one. In reality, it was Barack Obama and Joe Biden who refused to arm Ukraine. Even as Russia began their invasion in 2014, all they would give is medical supplies. Then Trump came in and armed them with anti-tank missile systems. And at the time, the media did their very best to underreport and cover this up so they could later lie about it like they're doing now. I can tell you in terms of uh, Ukraine, I can, I can speak to the sale, and I know a lot of you have been very interested in the sale of Javelin missiles to uh, Ukraine. You know, I can tell you that that was uh, something that was on the table for a very long time before we announced back in 2017 that the president uh, decided to provide the Javelin missile systems uh, to Ukraine. Those were delivered uh, just a few weeks ago. Somehow a bunch of you missed it, that those were actually delivered. Um, so uh, somebody did a good job of, uh, of keeping that quiet. I even said at the time that this was huge because it introduced a very real threat to Russian armor and vehicles. President Trump and Republican have armed Ukraine with Javelin missiles, which I'm telling you is a total game changer. The introduction of these weapons ensures that Russia won't be advancing any further into Ukrainian territory. On the other hand, Democrats and Obama refused to arm Ukraine and chose to only send them blankets and MREs. Which of these do you think played more into Putin's hands? And let's also not forget that when Republicans wanted to sanction Russia and stop their Nord Stream 2 pipeline, it was Democrats and Joe Biden that used what they called a relic of Jim Crow to stop these sanctions. Seems like a relevant response that should have come from one of these reporters. But as anyone can see, the press briefings are a lot different when Democrats are in charge. They 
aren't nearly as interested in holding Democrat feet to the fire because they think doing so hurts their chances of remaining in power. And who will save the earth and democracy if they don't? Not a lot more to say about this, but I wanted to get it out there as proof that the Democrats and the media constantly spread misinformation and disinformation, but without any of the blowback or censorship. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button, share, and leave a comment. Thanks a lot. <coughs>